What is the greatest power of 2 that is a factor of 10 to the 1002 minus 4 to the 501? First, I'm going to break that down. So 10 to the 1002 minus 4 to the 501. That's equal to 2. So it's 2 times 5 to the 1002 minus, and now this is, 2 times 2 to the 501, which is 2 to the 1002 times 5 to the 1002 minus 2 to the 501 times 2 to the 501, which is then equal to 2 to the 1002 times 5 to the 1002 minus 2 to the 1002. So we can factor out 2 to the 1002. And now it's going to become 5 to 1002 minus 1. So looking at this expression, it's definitely divisible by 2 to the 1002. So if we divide by 2 to the 1002, we're just left with 5 to the 1002 minus 1. Now the question is, what is the greatest power of 2 that divides that? And so something we can do, so we're focusing on what's the greatest power of 2 that divides that? We can do a difference of squares. So that is actually equal to 5 to the 501 minus 1 times 5 to the 501 plus 1. And so... Divis the divisibility rule for 3 is if you sum up um, all the digits and that's divisible by 3. So 501, 5 plus 1 plus 0 is 6. That's divisible by 3. Um, so we can actually do a, a difference of cubes here as well. Um, and so that's going to be equal to, we're going to get, it's true that 3 times 167 is 501. So this is going to break down like 5 to the 167 minus 1 times um, 5 to the 334 plus 5 to the 167 plus 1. And then sum of cubes we can also factor. That's going to be 5 to the 167 plus 1 times, and then 5 to the 3, 34, minus 5 to the 167, um, and then plus 1. So it factors into that, and now I'm just going to see what's the greatest power of 2 that divides each of these. Um, so for this first one, 5 to the 167, so Whenever we take 5 to an odd power, um, the so 5 to the an odd power, that's a big number. The last three digits, um, are going to be equal to 125. And since we're subtracting 1, the last three digits are going to be 124. So I know that that term, the divisibility rule for 4 is if 4 divides the last two digits, then it divides the whole thing. So this is divisible by 4. Divisibility rule for 8 is if 8 divides the last three digits. So 8 actually does not divide 124. So it's not divisible by 8. Therefore, largest power of 2 that divides that. 2 squared. Moving on here, um, 5 to the 334. So I know this is going to end in a 5. Um, and I know this is going to end in a 5. And then you add 1. So I know that this term right here is going to end in a 1. Therefore, since it ends in a 1, this is not divisible by 2. And moving on here, again, 
5 to the 167 plus 1. So this is the same deal. Last three digits are going to be, um, so it goes 125. Last three digits are going to be 126. Um, and so the situation here is actually 4 does not divide that, um, but 2 is going to divide it. So this is divisible by 2, not divisible by 4. And then here, again, this is going to end in 5. This is going to end in 5 plus 1. So this whole thing is going to end in 1. So this is not divisible by 2. So looking at all these terms here, um, we've got it's divisible by 2 squared. It's divisible by 2. So the largest power of 2 that divides the whole thing is 2 to the third. So for the whole expression, the, the largest thing that divides, the largest power of 2 that's a factor of 10 to the 1002 minus 4 to the 501 is 2 to the 1002 times 2 to the third, which is 2 to the 1005. So the answer is choice D.